So you guys, um, dad and I had an appointment today because we thought we had a house for us. And um, we were really excited to be able to tell you guys that we had a house and that we were going to be moving. And then when we got there to sign the papers, the whole deal fell through because the lady had gone and rented rented it to somebody. And it was really awesome. It was four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and it was in this thing called a high rise, which is the really wicked tall apartment. And it was right on the lake and inside this giant apartment building, there was a restaurant, a store, a store, a theater, a gym, a hair cutting place, an indoor pool, just like so much stuff. And, um, it would have been like, we wouldn't have had a yard. You guys wouldn't have had your bikes. But we figured, because of all the stuff that was there, that would kind of make up for the, the things that we would miss out on. So, we walked out of there, and I sat in the car, and I cried. And I was really angry. And I told Dad that I felt like God forgot about us, because nothing's happened with the house. And I got mad, and I yelled at God, and I asked him, just show us where we need to be. And we didn't know what to do, so we decided that we'd drive back over here and see if the lady was in the office. And so when we got here, her name's Angie, she was in the office, and we walked in and we asked her if she had any three-bedroom units, and she said one just became available yesterday. And she walked over to this unit that, well, not this one on the end, but the second one in, and she took us in and showed us. And it's a three bedroom, one and a half bath, two floor unit. And we asked her how to apply and she told us. So we went back over there and applied. And then we left to go to lunch. And when we walked in the door of the restaurant for lunch, she called us and said, it's yours. So, oh my God. <laughs> we have a house. <laughs> Yay. Can we see it? We don't get the keys until the 22nd, which is Thursday. But it's in Menor, so you will stay in the Menor school system. Yeah. But, but Ben and Grace, that's not the school you'll be going to. You're going to have to transfer. There's another elementary here. But since you've only been in school, by, by the time you transfer, you will have only been in school not even a week. Tips All right. So, so it's not that big of an issue, okay? It's not like you've been there half a year. Gabriel, we don't know yet whether you'll transfer to the other middle school or whether you'll stay in that one. There's a chance you might transfer too. So, but anyway, we were so excited and it was difficult. And look at those kids. It was difficult to not be able to tell you guys, you know, because we wanted to surprise you. But there's a playground here. There's something else that, the, that they have, and I can't remember what she pool. said. And a pool. And we haven't seen those yet, but we could drive around and look with you guys. And yeah. Gabriel, you told us that you wanted to be in a community where you could walk or ride your bike to the store and to do stuff. And that's why we drove through that whole thing, because we wanted you to see all the cool stuff that's over there. Oh. You weren't it's just right because it's right next to Because me. that was a specific thing you wanted and God did that for you. And we wanted you to see that. Oh so God. anyways, see the number on the see the number on the ground next to us? Fifty. What? Fifty. The, the, the number next to us. Right next 52. to us, fifty two. Yeah. Fifty two. And this one says fifty two because each apartment and we're fifty two.